In the rolling hills of Lancashire in northwest England lies Braid's Farm. It runs 400 Jersey and Holstein Frisian dairy cows, but this is a farm with a difference. The milk it's producing is the most climate friendly in the country and it all comes down to a supplement being added to the cow's feed. So this is the Mutrel. This is the feed that we um, feed our cows that contains garlic and citrus extracts. And then garlic and citrus extracts um, alter the microbiome of the cow's rumen. The rumen is the first of a cow's four stomachs. That's where the supplement inhibits the microbes that produce methane as part of the digestive process. So on our farm, um, scientists came from the Scottish Rural University and they measured a 30% reduction in methane emissions. Um, that doesn't sound like that much, but the carbon footprint of our milk is effectively 50% emissions. Some of that's nitrous oxide, but mainly methane. So to be able to just take out a chunk of 30% is, is, a, is a huge step forward. The supplement does not affect the taste of the milk. However, with profit margins already very low, the cost of the additive is beyond most farmers. Luckily, there's a solution for this problem too. By using Mutrail, this farm has managed to cut the equivalent of one tonne of carbon dioxide per cow per year. And that saving is now being transformed into carbon credits, which the farm can sell to subsidise the cost of the Mutrail and which other businesses can buy to offset their own carbon footprints. The company that developed the Mutrail supplement is also responsible for selling the carbon credits and it's hoping for a big uptake from the oil and gas industry. Our core target market is non-food corporates that are looking for ways to offset their carbon footprint to meet their ESG goals um, through meaningful projects that give an immediate reduction that is local to where they operate and that is with methane for which there are very few opportunities. Mutrel says if all the world's 1.5 billion cattle took its supplement, the reduction in emissions would be the equivalent of taking all the cars in Europe off the road. While that's clearly a lofty ambition, the company does hope it will be feeding at least 9 million cows by 2025. Sarah Morris, TRT World, Lancashire, UK.